I'm Jada Ben. Jada. And what do you play? I play violin. What's your name? Alaska. Alaska. And what do you play? I'm playing the Bach A minor concerto. Anna, yeah. And what do you play? Is it a bit obvious? Accompanying Alaska. Yeah. And have you learned a lot this? Yeah. What have you learned the most, do you think? So, like, I've learned some different ways to, like, improve some of my pieces and, like, ways to make it, like, better. What's your name? Martina. And Martina, what do you play? Violin. I like the pieces in um, my strings as well. Have you got a favourite composer? I like Mozart. And what do you play, Chloe? The violin. And what have you been learning this week? Four songs that I've learned. Four songs. Do you remember the names of any of them? Um, Lullaby for Luca, Alleluia, A Night's Quest and Time Tangle. Goodness me, you've got a good memory. Which is your favourite, do you think? Probably the, A Night's Quest. Yeah. And what's your, what's your role here, Barbara? My role here, officially I'm called a mentor, which means I do pretty much anything. Um, first thing in the morning I've been running a technique class for violins and violas. And what do you play, Ginny? I play the violin. And you've been at this school now all week. What's the probably the best thing that you've learned so far? Um, the technique that you use to um, help you play better. We've been learning about like bowing strokes around, like trying to get them correctly, precisely with the other with the other on violin ones. It makes children who play instruments feel less isolated than they otherwise might. Quite often um, my experience is that you know a child will usually be the only one in their class who say plays the violin and they don't have a lot of peers around them with whom they can talk about music and violin playing. And why do you come to us? I come to it because I can play with people that are very good and I can learn from professional teachers and professors as well. <laughs> my name's Barbara Gilby. My professional name is Barbara Jane Gilby, but my friends call me Barbara. And I'm a violinist and a part-time violist. I come from Braidwood, New South Wales. And I used to live in Tasmania. I was the concertmaster of the Tasmanian Symphony for 15 years. Um, my name's Sarah. And what's your role at, at this festival? Um, well, this year I'm, uh, I guess I'm a mentor and project manager. What's helped you to get to where you are? Oh, wow, people. Um, yeah. I've been mentored, so, you know, I've just had this opportunity as a kid. So that's that's what I'm passionate about is, is you know, Sue Collins. She's the artistic director and she helped me um, a lot. And of course, when I was younger, I had um, my conductor and teachers um, back in Queensland and that was pivotal in my, my own journey. And I know without it, you can't achieve any level of excellence. So, what's your name? The so mama name is T Timothy Kasitsan and I've been playing for 11 years. And why do you come to this particular festival? I think the reason is that it's great fun and you learn a lot while you're here too. What are you learning this week that maybe you wouldn't have had a chance to learn otherwise? 
I think the mentor's experience and advice really helps in the technique. This camp is like a good way to connect with people too. So that's important that they see that there's a cohort of, of other people like them who have the same interests. <laughs> so my name is Jonathan. Um, I've been playing the violin for a good 16 years now. Has it been 16 years? No, it hasn't been 16 years. It's been 14, I think. A long time. A little while, yeah. yeah. And so um, I've come down for the third consecutive festival that's been happening here in Tasmania. Um, and yeah, I love it. I wouldn't miss it for anything. My name is Christine Badger. And I'm the luthier here at this festival. I've been a luthier for quite a long time. I started uh, 95, a long time. And what sort of problems have you been encountering here at the festival? Have you been lots of instruments in need of your skills? Yeah, there were a few uh, broken violins or just bumped them somewhere or whatever. The, the kids just. Yeah. And uh, a few bow repairs, uh, repairs, bridges. Sue Collins, I'm the founder and artistic director of the festival. I was for six years uh, head of strings and orchestras at uh, Hobart Conservatorium. What do you think the main takeaway for them when they come here? That what are they getting out of it, do you think, at the most? Collaboration and just new inspiration from great artists mentoring them. Uh, we have a number of uh, professionals who are at the top of their game, both pedagogically and as performers. And we all work together and it's very much a festival camp atmosphere, we keep it relaxed. We get together for two performances each evening. The candlelight concerts began as Bach by candlelight uh, and we still like to keep a theme of, of, of playing a lot of Bach in those candlelight concerts. It just, it, it, everyone loves Bach. Hello, I'm Michelle Walsh. I'm a violinist. I'm from Queensland, from the Queensland Conservatorium of Music Griffith, Griffith University, and I'm head of strings there. I think that it brings a tremendous sense of unity of purpose and the joy of music making. Yeah. And um, I think that the wonderful thing about having this wide age, age group of young, young children um, older children and adults, um, you know, amateurs, people who just love music. They are here to learn. They are here to enjoy making music together. And um, I've been coming since the first one, so this is the third one. Um, and it's it's terrific to see how it's developing. And the spirit, you can tell that the same people are coming back because they love it so much. And then every year we've got some new ones. So it's, it's, a, it's very special. The environment is very nurturing. And um, I think everybody feels like they're safe, in a safe place to, yeah. to, to really try their hardest. In our remote community, um, it's hard to have opportunities to set the bar high and the standard, just to see the excellence. And then the following weeks and months after the festival, you see the bar still high and getting higher the next year. It's just a culture. Yeah. And it's 
amazing to see the kids. Would you recommend this school to uh, this festival to other people that are thinking yeah. about coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah?